Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just playing with my dock. It's uh, it's uh, one of my Macs. This is the 15-inch MacBook Pro that was sponsored by Legit for Gnome Dex, and I really appreciate that. And so now I've got this uh, dock here on the Mac. And the dock, if you're not already familiar with it, is that little bar that typically sits at the bottom of a screen on OS X. And, and that will show you uh, some of the programs that are running, maybe shortcuts to other programs that are on the system, and in some cases, any open windows, and also has the little trash bin on OS X as well. Now, some people who uh, use the Mac hate the dock. I mean loathe the dock and I gotta I gotta admit it's to me it's not as useful as the Windows start menu certainly not as uh, useful as uh, the start menu has evolved over the years but I've kinda gotten used to it some people just love the dock for its simple elegance it does work uh, and uh, we had a question come in through YouTube, I believe, from Rudy PB. He says, hello, Chris. I would like to ask you about the dock programs for Windows, like Object Dock or Rocket Dock. Do you have any experience with them, and do you recommend them? Well, I do not have uh, direct experience with them uh, on a regular basis. However, I used to run Object Dock, which is, uh, I think, got a free and a pro version that's available from StarDock. Um, I used to run them on Windows, but never really as a replacement for the start menu, but rather an augmentation, uh, another way of managing open programs or utilities that I wanted to use on a regular basis. Um, all it is, at, in the purest sense, is a way for you to do just that, manage shortcuts, open programs, and just uh, you know interact with your computer and its objects in a, a format that's somewhat different from the Windows Start menu. Certainly, uh, if you enjoy the dock and you also need to be running on Windows, yeah, uh, I'd say Rocket Dock or Object Dock may be to your liking. Uh, however, uh, if, if you, you're fine with the Windows Start menu, I say stick with it. Now, if you're, let's say, a Mac user at home and at work maybe you have Windows, well, then maybe you like the dock and you want to run the dock on Windows. So, yeah, Rocket Dock and, or Object Dock or any dock clone for Windows will do you just fine. Uh, as is with most software these days, it's probably, if it's not free, there's likely a demo you can download and try. See if you like it. See if you got, get, got used to it. I've found that a lot of Windows software, the clones uh, of uh, Apple's uh, originals, tend to be a little more complex than they need to be. Um, and on the other hand, Apple's dock uh, tends to be a little more simplistic than I wish it was. I wish it was a little more complex and a a had uh, different features available to me. It's, the dock is, is certainly tweakable on either platform, um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's just another way of, you know, playing with the computer. It's software. And software, like uh, any other title out there, can certainly uh, change the way uh, you interact gosh I keep saying that uh, but uh, you know these are these are things that uh, if you've never really heard about before well you've heard about them now rocket dock object dock I'm sure there are plenty of other dock type of programs in fact I know there are plenty of other ways to manage open windows and shortcuts on the Windows desktop or even OS 10 to, to that matter uh, gadgets may eventually kind of replace the idea of uh, a dock or even to a certain degree a start menu uh, different ways of interacting with shortcuts. Um, I used to play with uh, programs like this all the way back to the days of Windows 3.1, if you can believe that. It was something called Plugin for Windows. I'm probably the only person who ever registered that or who even remembers that to this day. So, uh, anyway, uh, give it a shot. Uh, looks like there's, oh, uh, Kibadoc on Linux. Good to know. Very good to know. See there, we've now hit all three major operating systems. And if you know of any others, by all means, leave a comment or a follow up. And, uh, you know, we'll take a look if we haven't already. And then, of course, you can come by the chat room as well. And, and maybe you've got uh, some urgent news about docs that we just didn't know about before, or needed to know about right now. Even if, even if it's not urgent, well, you're welcome to join us anytime, day or night. We're there chatting away. And even if I'm busy on the computer, these people are certainly there busy asking me what I'm doing and asking me what I think about software. Well, I think software is wonderful. What about you?